So hello everyone, we are painting this today with uh, just a 0.2 millimeter Unipin and we'll just be using one brush, a, a size two mop and of course my normal watercolors. We're gonna do the most of the work in 10 minutes and then as ever, we'll have a look and see if we can take that 10 minute spontaneous sketch and elevate it with a little bit of something extra. Love your thoughts on this, so please leave a comment. And of course, if you enjoy, um, like and subscribe is a huge support. Hello everybody, it is Toby again from Toby's Open Sketch, bringing you another quick challenge. Here is another, well, let's see, 10 minute challenge um, using this scene up here. I'm gonna just use a two millimeter fine liner, my normal set of watercolors, um, and I've got my normal couple of brushes, a size two mop and a size eight round, and let's see what we can do. So let's just get sketching. You can see here we got this it's a really interesting narrow space to play with and it's kind of also giving us the idea of light and shade isn't it so we've got this very much in shade building coming across and then we got another very bright building on the other side and we're not going to spend too long on these buildings but just a little bit to to make sure that we've got a nice sort of silhouette framing what's going on. Then let's try and get the perspective of this wall right. So it kind of goes up like this and very narrow and then comes back gradually widening. Then we've got another side to it. What we can do is instead of drawing the other side per se, we can draw these shapes of trees and kind of end the trees and the bushes where we think the top of the uh, the wall is. And that gives us the, the light of the wall without specifically drawing a line. Then going off into the distance is just some more sort of fence before we get to our light building. So our light building, just need to get it about the right size. And that's just comparatively measuring across really, seeing where compared to the other building it is before bringing it up. And we've got all of these windows. And just gradually making them a little bit bigger, getting in the shutters as well. And then we can come down to the other side of it. So what we're doing is following these following these big shapes to lead us around the image. And a little bit more sort of funny perspective just to be careful of. So where are these, just check where are these angles really going before we draw them. And this is a kind of sort of step up to that, that little building. Then we can draw the rest of that fence. And we can sort of finish it off here. I'm going to add in a couple of bits of our sketch just going off to the right here because there's another nice window. So if we just get this, this window in here, and look how the bottom of this window is still level with the perspective of this window. Now I'm going to raise this wall because you can see that a couple of my measurements are a little bit out but that's fine because we just need the approximate idea for it to be feeling right that's all i'm after and we can even put in this little pipe okay do a little more detail in this window let's get those window panes and let's let's go for this sort of don't know what to call it trellis wooden structure anyway 
a little chimney. Okay, and then it's kind of time to just finish off these last couple of details. Got another couple of little windows. I'm just trying to line them up with these windows. They don't line up in the image, but it makes more visual sense if they're all sort of aligned. So that's the aim I'm going for there. So we've been going around four minutes. We've got actually quite a good outline now, haven't we, of our main light and dark areas. What would be nice to do would be achieve something in this busyness going on in the back. So let's just go for it. We just start by getting in a sort of silhouette. And we can start pulling out a few shapes. And then as we get to the top here, the silhouette becomes man-made. We've got this turret. Actually a few rocks which aren't man-made, but then a couple of more buildings. And we can just start popping in these buildings, these roofs. And we can, it don't have to be exact, because we're just trying to get the, the idea of something busy going on back here. So just, what kind of shapes do we see there? Not what exact shapes, but what kind of shapes. And we can take exact things. So this is, for example, the biggest building in the foreground. But sometimes you might get lost in all that detail. And, you know, our eye is naturally getting lost anyway. So we don't need to make all this detail perfect by any means just a few more sort of man-made looking lines. There you go, and that, that is, I think, our, our sketch pretty well done. So let's move on to our colours and how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to, I think, just again emphasise this light and dark idea. So you can see, as always, I've got a bit of muck in my palette. I'm going to actually start, let's start with a blue sky though. So take a bit of cobalt, a little bit of fallow blue, and Let's get that in the sky. Because that's also going to help us form some shadow. There are a few places of shadow, so let's just neatly outline our light building. Relatively neatly anyway. And then we'll get a little bit of green and we'll just pull this blue down using that green as well. So we want things to blend and mix and fluid and then just this sort of muck in the palette can now start just to blend with our blue we can bring it into this building we can leave a few brick like shapes brick like shapes of light and we can take some of this warm color as well so this is a bit of quinacridone sienna mostly that can be a bit more of the shadow. And actually that works really well. So now that I've done that, we can start just popping patches of that in this shadow. And that's going to help again with that sort of brick-like idea going on in this building. And let's get this tone coming all the way across. And a little bit more green, a little bit more here, a little bit more there. A little bit of darkness as well into these greens because these trees aren't just all light and bright. Let's get a little bit more of our warm colour again. And there we go. So we're sort of just building it up bit by bit. Perhaps then to contrast it, we can use another warm colour, so crinacridone gold, on this sort of colourful parts of this area so that we've got something to offset. We can pull this sky a little bit lower, so just a bit more of our cobalt. Let's get it all the way down to our building. And then we can start using the same cobalt. I'm actually going to mix it a tiny bit with the other colours, but basically the same cobalt to do a different shadow in a few areas on this building. Just pulling out these sort of shutters. And then under here there's some definite shadow. There's also some shadows just coming onto this wall. But by using the cobalt as a shadow, 
so the darker shadow we're still emphasizing that sort of light and dark okay and there's also a few textures so we can take a brush dry it off pick up a little bit of pigment and just sort of dry brush into that you can even take a bit more in places and keep that dry brush effect going but also keeping plenty of light and what else do we want to do well there's there's punches of color missing aren't there so let's take some red this is scarlet lake which is my favorite red and we can just pop that in let that blend into these man-made objects and give it a sort of punch of well man-madeness of, of this idea of well it is it is a man-made object we're trying to separate it from the from the uh, greens going on how are we doing for time so we've got about a minute left so the last thing i'd like to do in our little the 10 minute challenge is to pull out the darkest darks and there's a few areas here we're going to be gentle because things are still so wet and then up here and we can have a few more bricks just in our dark areas and a few bricks here we can even fill in some of these brick like shapes and then maybe these windows under there and there we go so that is 10 minutes on this rather complicated scene now let's let this dry and see what it is we might add to improve it so there we are we're nice and dry now and i think there's two ways we could go with this there's going with a lot more color a lot more punches and splashes of color or there's going with more pen and i'm actually going to go with the the latter the more pen option but i'd love to know your thoughts on what you'd like to do um, so let me know in the comments, but let's have a go at my version and then you can show me what, what you would have done. So I'm going to go around with my pen. I'm just going to use the same pen again, although you could at this point use a bolder pen as well. And I'm going to pull out these darkest areas. I'm going to just sort of reaffirm some of these continuous lines done earlier, but making just these really bold areas really stand out and it's going to get a lot more complicated with that the, the pen work is going to get more complex so it's important that we're still being sort of simple with our aims so just continuous line drawing will will make things feel complicated but if we're just trying to pull out simple shapes then we'll still just be keeping the overall feel relatively simple we can get things more obvious like this um, pipe we can pull out a little bit and then just one side of some of these windows and maybe this window we can get a bit more frame in it and there we go already it's getting a bit more punchy holding its weight a little bit more come in under here as well just to add some texture this wall sort of crying out for a little bit of just well to show what it is to show that it's made of these sort of funny bricks and to show the perspective a little more we could do the same on this again just to show we're dealing with different perspectives different textures and things going on whereas maybe this just to show it is different we just put a few little marks sort of like uh, suggesting concrete suggesting mild texture you can do the same in this building so we left it blank if you remember to the to the left here as a sort of frame but now we've got these interesting colors running through it we can sort of capture some of those colors just in loose brick like shapes which kind of again just gently fit the perspective of of this house and just going back and forwards to get 
depth and darkness in a couple of these real dark places. And again, gradually it's sort of building up a bit more punch, isn't it? Little bits and little bits. We can also go a bit more on the detail here. So we've got our little shapes, we've got our little red areas. So we can now start to go, ah, well, let's add some little windows, maybe even some roof textures. Where there's not man-made structures, we can add some random lines to suggest trees. And there we go. And we just build up some of these textures, especially by here, where this house is light. It's great to have the contrast, a real depth of, of line work suddenly becoming this bright white house. And this, this is reflecting a lot of light, but doesn't mean we can't add a little bit of these sort of brick textures to it as well. Okay, what else could we just do a tiny bit of? Well, the one thing which is obviously missing is this lovely, so there's a lot of wires going around, isn't it? So let's add this, this chappie in. It's emerging here from the undergrowth and then we can from that we get it about the right height which is just under here and just above here we can then have all these lovely wires going across there's a big one coming out here and I think wires like this often they sort of finish off an image, they make it a complete, a complete, um, well, image, a complete painting, complete sketch. They show how everything's linked and they just add a little bit of busyness to the, to the sketch, but it's so simple as well because they're, they're straight, well, straight is slightly wobbly lines. And I think that is, that is me done. Like I said, you could have, you could even still add a bit more colour or or add more pen or add more tone but i think for a for a quick sketch um this is pretty nice very happy with it it's got lots of interesting things going on and it captures what is quite a complicated scene in quite a simple way so i hope you've enjoyed that um please do let me know um, and if you do enjoy then um please do subscribe uh, leave a comment like always a great support thank you <laughs>